Hey, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> um, today, I thought I'd take a look at the Manjaro Linux Budgie Desktop <clears throat> Community Edition. And after installing it, I realized I didn't know a whole lot about the Budgie Desktop. So I went about uh, trying to explore a little bit, try to find out how to configure the Budgie Desktop uh, the way I normally uh, like the panel and, and the desktop configured. And so I thought I'd share with you a couple of things that I found. Now, the, uh, there is no right-click menu on the desktop. Uh, there are no icons enabled on the desktop by default, but you can enable them. The panel is normally at the top. I moved it to the bottom. Um, I changed the icon theme. I added some... Uh, icons or application utilities to the system tray uh, and those are when you install for example when you install um, Redshift and you start it from your menu your accessories menu uh, it ends up in the system tray and all you have to do is set it to auto start and that's the case with most of the system tray applications now the configuration of the desktop itself is a little bit unorthodox and so I thought I'd share with you some of the things that I found out through exploring and through checking the budgie um, configuration manual online now the first thing we're gonna start off with is the panel um, this little icon in the bottom right on the panel brings up the side panel now you've got uh, your calendar you've got your volume control your audio outputs your audio inputs down the bottom you've got a, a set a settings uh, manager <clears throat> lock screen and you've got your uh, logout okay so now if you click on your settings manager it's gonna bring up basically the gnome control center you can also access this from the menu under system tools the settings icon so that will bring up your gnome control center although it's not labeled that that's what it is now in order to most of these are pretty self-explanatory but the one I want to sh go over with you is the backgrounds if you click on backgrounds it's going to bring up your background your desktop background and your lock screen background now for lock screen it's got several you can choose from in wallpapers then you've got if you have pictures if you if you load any pictures to your pictures folder it'll show up under the pictures heading and then you've got colors that you can select as your uh, as your logout screen now for your background it's the same situation you've got your wallpapers you've got any pictures that you load to your pictures folder and you've got colors now interestingly <clears throat> that's not the only uh, desktop wallpapers available if you go into file manager and other locations click on computer and then user share backgrounds you'll find that there are multiple backgrounds here so if I open that uh, you can see that you've got a the dark and there are different resolutions depending on the type of monitor you have but you've got the 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 uh, dark uh, default which is what it comes with then you've got a light version and then you've got s various colors of the Manjaro logo and then if I scroll down there's one additional which just says Manjaro Linux it's just a plain uh, kind of a textured wallpaper those don't seem to be visible in the in the uh, wallpaper folder 
So what you'd have to do is you'd have to copy them from the user share backgrounds folder and put them in pictures. Once you do that they would be accessible. Now you would have to do that as root because it is under user share. So if I go into my files and I think this is Nautilus so I'm going to open Nautilus as root okay and then I go to other locations computer user share backgrounds uh, and then by the way there are some gnome backgrounds and there are XFCE so if you wanted to use them all select all copy go to your home folder and you can do that through the regular Nautilus go to home go to your pictures and copy them in paste okay so now you've got those additional wallpapers uh, which will which will now be accessible now if I close out the terminal and I go to my settings background when I click on background in pictures now we should be able to see those additional wallpapers that came over from the user yeah and there they are from the user share folder so they're mixed in your regular wallpaper folder uh, but they're all there and they would be accessible at that point so let's get into the Christmas spirit and we'll pick one of the little Christmassy pictures that I have and we'll leave Santa Claus up on the rooftop now going back to our panel if you click on the little gear it's going to bring up your desktop configuration if you wanted to change your uh, widget theme right now it's arc Maya darker you could change that to any uh, any one that you like um, you've got several to choose from I'm gonna leave the default now the icon theme I changed to Fienza it normally is uh, mocha it comes out of the box with mocha uh, but I'm gonna leave Fienza breeze cursor you've got a couple of uh, different cursor themes uh, as you can see background doesn't really do anything you have to access it from the other menu you can turn your desktop icons on and off right here for fonts you can change them in this panel and if you click on panel the panel configuration is a little bit different um, this is my panel as it stands now the budgie menu is right here that's the budgie menu and then I've got a spacer the icon task list and the task list task, task list now the icon task list is actually a launcher a series of launchers it, uh, that comes enabled out of the box and the only thing I change is I move the panel from the top to the bottom which is done right here I wanted my open windows to show that is not enabled out of the box in order to do that you're gonna add the task list showing the the this configuration right here you don't want the uh, the icon task list as I said is you, it, those are your launchers 
and you can add to those I'll show you how to do that in a minute but the the open windows is really the task list and once you click on applets and you click on task list it will add it to your menu so once you uh, add that uh, task list then you can move it uh, I believe it shows up in the center of your panel then you'll want to use these arrows here right at the up and down you're gonna move it from the center to the start and basically you've got three sections of your panel start is on the left then you've got a center which I'm not using that's why I don't have anything in the center and then you've got the end so I've got everything at the start which means they just follow the flow from left to right budgie menu spacer icon task list which again are your launchers and then your task list which are your open windows and again you can move those uh, once you highlight it you can move those around on your panel using these two arrows at the end of the uh, panel I have my uh, I have a, the spacer then my system tray which these are my system tray utilities then I've got notifications status indicator user indicator spacer separator the clock which is right here and then the Raven sidebar control which is this panel that I'm working with you can move those around also by using the arrows and that's the basic uh, configuration uh, of the budgie desktop uh, everything is pretty much in this Raven sidebar control uh, and again you can exit the panel you've got general configuration panel configuration exit over to your applets your notifications and then you can close it out by clicking on the icon now in your menu on the on the panel everything is in category however you cannot open the category by hovering I have not found a setting for that uh, so you have to literally click on each of the categories now at the at the front uh, the front page of the menu when you open it you'll show system tools these are things that I've used recently so my recently used uh, programs are listed here and basically you've got everything that be behind the recently used programs then you've got everything spelled out <clears throat> by category accessories Chrome apps education games we've got steam installed graphics now <clears throat> GIMP and LibreOffice draw uh, came out of the box now one thing I notice is sometimes when you add a uh, add a program it doesn't add itself to the menu until you log out and log back in and then it'll show itself in the menu so under utilities that's where you'll find the tweak tool uh, for use within budgie so you can change your theme here your your icons this is basically the configuration manager uh, same as you saw it in the in the side panel there's your desktop there are your fonts keyboard and mouse power startup applications for typing uh, again this is uh, very much like the gnome I have enabled the control alt backspace to kill the X server for Windows uh, you can change the configuration of your Windows and you can have uh, it comes with four workspaces I just reduced it to one 
and then as I mentioned before you have your settings and this is uh, your GNOME Control Center rebranded for Budgie and you've got all of the basic configuration options within the uh, settings panel so you can do uh, your, your other configuration options within the settings panel and now if you want to pin another application to your launcher all you have to do is open the application so let's say I want to pin uh, Pythos if I open the application and I right click the icon I can select pin to panel and then it is pinned to the panel so that even when I close it out it remains so that is it for this uh, this video guys now this is the Manjaro budgie community edition it's very nice um, this desktop because I'm used to XFCE Mate uh, this is a little bit uh, not as full featured in my opinion doesn't have the right click options the panel is a little bit more difficult to set up but once you get used to it it's like any other desktop if it's your if you use it on a daily basis it'll become second nature to you so guys thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care